It's unfeasibly early in the morning. I have to go back down to the town hall today because it's the planning uh, committee and there are two uh, cases that I have to speak on, which means I need to go down to the town hall this morning and make sure that uh, I have all my notes together on what I'm saying because you only get one chance uh, at these things, so I've got to make sure it's right. So it's been another busy day. That seems to be my catchphrase now. Busy day. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I just got out of the planning committee, I had to speak on a, a motion, not a motion, I did an application and it's so hot in there, so hot, but uh, at least I'm out there now, I get to go down in here in the the conservatives room for a bit, brought a, a book to read to keep me going, so and that should keep me going until uh, the two people I need to speak to about last night's transphobia incident uh, can get out of planning as well, and then uh, Hopefully I get to go home and do some uh, work. That'd be nice. This whole process is taking hours and I'm falling asleep. Waiting on people are in meetings, uh, they're having meetings and then coming back talking to me and having meetings. It's all been taken incredibly seriously and rightly it should be, but uh, it's so dreadful. So I've got home and I found a massive pile of stuff behind the door. So it's been one of those days where there's a lot of posts. Now I'm one of those people where when you see a huge amount of posts, you always think, hang on, what have I forgotten? <laughs> it's the paranoid part of your brain thinks, what have I forgotten? Who's chasing me for something? <laughs> but uh, it's CEX stuff, of course it is. So we're going to go through that in a moment. That'll be fun. Okay, here's what's happened today. I spent a huge amount of it in the town hall. The morning spent dealing with uh, paperwork, making sure I had everything I needed to deal with the planning meeting that I had earlier this afternoon. Now, once that was done, that should have been the end of things. But of course, last night happened. The transphobic attack on me, and I've now had to spend most of the day dealing with the fallout. Now, what happened after I finished recording for last night's vlog is that the issue kept going around and round and round in my head, as this kind of thing does. And as, of course, that's most likely what it was supposed to do. That's why he did it. Because the attack that he made didn't have anything to do with the motion that was being debated at the time. He just stood up and ranted at me. It was personal attack. He'd clearly been just sitting there chewing over things and just decided to attack. Which is why I ended up reporting it as a hate crime. Yes, I did. Now, you got to remember, I'm a hate crime ambassador. I tell... Everyone that has issues where someone's shouted at them in the street with an, uh, transphobic abuse or homophobic abuse or racist abuse or disabledist abuse or anything like that. If someone has done something that can be classed as a hate crime, then you should report it. That's why I tell everyone, because if you don't, then the police don't have the proper statistics on what's going on, which means that they can't get the funding to have officers deal with the proper crimes that are actually happening. The only thing that they've got is their statistics. If they don't have the right statistics, they will police the wrong things. So I always tell them to do that. And of course, I've got to stick by what I'm telling people, especially when, actually, if I'm truthful, it hurt a lot. I don't like what I'm... The guy had no reason to ever suggest that I was male. He's never met me as a male. I transitioned over 10 years ago. I've lived in Bolton... Seven, coming on eight years. He's never met me before, before I transitioned. So there's no reason whatsoever. For, he couldn't even say, oh, I was just thinking, yeah, yeah. sometimes it slips because I'm so used to you. Know, you would never met me like that. So, yeah, I ended up uh, putting it in as a hate crime. And uh, it was the talk of the town today in Bolton Town Hall. Everyone was shocked at what happened last night. The Labour group was shocked. The Conservatives were definitely shocked. The, uh, the amount of uh, Conservatives that came up to me afterwards and said, the guy's an arse, don't, don't let it get you. Well, mostly things don't. Most of the time, because I get abused so often, it doesn't affect me anymore because it doesn't hit on. But this came out of left field and I had no reason to it. And that does hurt. I, I, I have to admit, it does hurt. 
What's happening now is, of course, I've reported it. It's out of my hands. What happens after this, I don't know. But the problem with this sort of thing is that if he's doing it, he feels secure to do it. Or he feels that it's acceptable to do it. It's one of the two. It's either he thinks it's acceptable or he feels secure enough in thinking that other people think the same way he does, that he can do it. And that legitimises it for other people because it's a, well, a guy in, uh, stood up in the council, the premier forum for the town, where those represent, who represent us, the people who make the decisions, they also think like I do, therefore it must be all right. It legitimises it for the bigots in the street. And that's not acceptable. So, I, of course, I had to report it. And that, as a result, there's been meetings today in the town hall. People are shocked, but uh, the Conservatives and the Labour groups have both had to have discussions. And it's just gone on and on and on. It was uh, 7 o'clock by the time I got on. I went to the town hall at 10 o'clock this morning. I've been there for nine hours. But, uh, like I said, it's out of my hands now. And I can move on to other things. So, yeah, today I haven't done a comic because I've spent all day in the channel because of what happened last night. I should have been there for four hours. I was there for nine because of last night. Anyway, I did manage for lunch to pop out and have a quick check of CEX, so I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But uh, let's have a look at what came in the post today. Because that's a bit brighter and a bit nicer. So let's do some uh, post. Well, it's all from CEX because that's where we ordered from. So let's start off with something... Now you'll probably go, go, oh, I haven't got all of these yet. Pro Evolution Shocker uh, 11. Pro Evo 11, that's uh, pretty good condition. Decent quality, especially since it's the old style, uh, the new style crappy boxes. Manual's all here, disc is in good condition as well. So I'm very happy to add that to the collection. We're going to get through all of these pretty quick. Next one we hope we have uh, iToy Kinetic Combat. Not heard of this one before, but it turned up on the list of uh, stuff, so I've got to have it. Decent quality case, manuals here, and disc is in reasonably good condition. Although the case does have some dirt on the inside, which is a concern, because you never know what's going to be there after that now, do you? Next up we have uh, Turbo Trucks. Again, decent quality case. I've done all right with these. Manual and uh, CD are there. Pretty good, very happy with that one. Next up we have a game that the uh, official PlayStation magazine gave 1 out of 10. It's Smarties Meltdown. I think this might be interesting to play. Most, most likely we'll end up with a Game Armor review of it at some point or something like that, so I'm going to put that aside to give it a test. Next up we have one that I wish I could have afforded when I first saw it back in the day, when the PlayStation 2 was the thing to, to have. It's a Zone of the Enders. I've never got it until now, but this does mean that I now have a game for every letter of the alphabet on PlayStation 2. So Zone of the Enders. Again, decent quality case, especially then considering that it's one of the black case early ones. Manuals here, discs here. I'll be having a quick look at that later on. Next up we have uh, this one I got because Jen thought it might be interesting. Great Battles of Rome, the History Channel. I know nothing about this. I'm going to give it a try later on, see where it is, but I literally know nothing about this game. It's uh, severely damaged. The case is cracked but uh, the manuals here and the disc is here so I can swap the case the case over if need be and see how that goes now next up we have uh, another pro evolution soccer 2010 this time with no manual but at least the discs here decent quality case as well so not too bad now <laughs> strawberry short kick I didn't know this existed until we saw it on the list. So, Strawberry Shortcake, uh, the Sweet Dreams game. No idea what it's about. It looks like mini games or puzzles or something like that in the back. We'll see. No manual, so I'm hoping that it's easy to follow. It might not be. It might be one of those brain teasers. But this here, and decent quality case, so I'm happy with that. <sighs> CX, stop sending me stickers. And last but not least from this set. What is it again? Secret Weapons Over Normandy. Now, I'm wondering whether this is like uh, a sequel to Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe or something like that. I don't know. But we'll give it a try anyway. Looks uh, reasonably decent. It's LucasArts, so it shouldn't be too bad. Decent quality case. No manual, though. I'm a bit annoyed. Because I think this is going to be a flight that you need it for. But I do have the... Oh, I'm mean, so tired. Oh. I do have the disc, and it seems in reasonably good condition. 
Right, so what did I pick up from CEX when I was out today in my very brief uh, disappearance from the, the town hall? Well, Jade Cocoon 2. I don't know much about this, but what I do know is it's reasonably uh, interesting. And a uh, good quality case. The manual's here. It's got a bit of a bend on it, as you can see, but uh, aside from that, looks pretty good. So I'm going to have a look at that and see, and hopefully it'll be pretty good. But the one that I really, really had to have them when I saw it, Harvest Moon. I've heard lots of good things about these games. Pretty good quality case. Really, really happy with that. Sadly, no manual, but uh, the disc's in decent condition now because I checked it in the place. So anyway, that's really it. I'm having, I think, a well-deserved evening off. I'm going to load up one of these games and play it for a bit. And probably end up uh, playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 because that's what I've been playing a lot of recently when I get a minute to do it. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you did like this. As usual, remember to click the like button, share it with your friends that they see what's going, been going on too. And do subscribe for future videos because there will be more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. Thanks for watching the Zog. I'll see you tomorrow.